Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on translations. So translations is one of the four transformations that you need to know at GCSE level. So translations just means to move a shape in a given direction, just like translating from one language to another means moving from one language to another. This in maths means moving a shape from one location to another. So they usually give you a translation to complete in the form of a vector. So in this question, our vector is 4 minus 3. So I want to explain what this means. So any vector is written with two numbers placed on top of each other, our x and our y. So the x number, the number that's on the top, tells us whether or not we are going left or right and how far we're going. If the number's a positive number, then we're moving to the right. And if our number is a negative number, we're moving to the left. So in this question, because the top number is a 4, it means we're going to move 4 squares to the right. The second number, the y value, will tell us if we're moving up or down. If the value is a positive value, we'll be moving squares upwards. And if it's a negative value, we'll be moving down. So in this example, because it is minus 3, that means we'll be moving 3 squares downwards. So this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to pick any point, any vertex on my shape, and I'm going to move that one vertex. Any vertex will be fine. I'm going to go for this one here in the bottom right corner. Now I'm going to start by moving 4 squares to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to move my three squares down. So one, two, three. So this here, this point, is where that point I started with will end up on the coordinate grid. Now I could do this with every vertex and then join them up to make my shape. But once I've done one, I can tell where that shape is going to end up. If that's my bottom corner, I'm just going to draw the exact same shape in that position. You'll need to use a ruler and a pencil when you do this. And that's my answer completed. I don't need to rotate it or reflect it or enlarge it or change the shape in any way. It's the exact same shape, just in a different location. Thank you for watching.